Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So we're going to do an art journal page today with a very uh, simple kind of background. And also, I got asked about the Derwent Ink Tense Blocks. So we're going to be playing with those a little bit, and I'll give you a, a uh, kind of a quick demo on how they work. Now, I love the uh, Derwent Ink Tense Pencils. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, they are pencils that are water soluble but they're permanent and they're very uh tense <laughs> in their ink <laughs> they're very awesome let me know down below if you want to see a demo of them um these are the blocks which i will show you how to use but first we're going to do a simple background this is just my art journal um it could be you know any art journal we have homemade journals we have junk journals so use whatever you got and these are just pages from a book. Any book, you can go to your local dollar store and get any kind of book. You can uh, use a old book that you've read, paperback or otherwise. You can go to your local library, which they are always uh, either throwing out books that are destroyed or they have books for a dollar. Uh, so you can support the library. There are so many, uh, you know, ways that you can find books. Maybe, you know, friends of yours have books. Maybe you can share with others. Uh, you know, if you have books, you know, that kind of thing. So I got this. I'm not going to just so I'm going to take my Mod Podge paper and I'm going in and I have my pages like, how do you say it? Kind of off right underneath here. So nothing gets on like a page that I've already done. So it's blocking it. And I'm just throwing this down. This stuff dries so fast. It's wonderful. And I'm just going to rip some book pages and lay them down. And this pa these pages are a little thicker. Like if you have a, um, what's it called? Paperback. This was a hardback, but if you have a paperback, those are usually thinner pages. They're like a little more tissue papery. And then I just go over because it takes a minute to stick. And this one you can see has some wrinkles, not a big deal. Like I said, the dollar store has, you know, I mean, you can get them anywhere. You can even use, if you don't have, use newspaper, use to go get like your, um, if you're at the grocery store, you know, when you're leaving in the uh, exit, they have those, um, you know, auto zone, auto penny pincher. I don't know what the heck they're called but you can get those as well. You know, the ink might smear a bit depending on what it's made of, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's all gonna go into a page. You know, it's just a very easy, quick background. And I just keep going over this to pick up, but you can see it's already drying, but just to pick up some more of that uh, paper Mod Podge. You don't have to tear it. You can leave it whole. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. I will give you a tip on the Mod Podge paper. As you can see, I have some Mod Podge down here and I'm going to lay down a piece of the paper and it's not going to stick right away. <clears throat> leave it sit there for a minute um, and then go back in with a little bit more and then push it down and it will stick. It just takes a second to adhere especially if you're using a thicker paper. If you're using a thinner paper, it probably won't. But sometimes I notice that it does do that. Like I said, it's not a big deal. Make sure you get those edges. And I just keep ripping and ripping. And of course you can, you know, layer over pieces or it doesn't matter doesn't matter if there's white showing, you know, like the paper here, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. This does not dry sticky. I know some of you have issues with Mod Podge matte drying sticky in your art journal. This does not. It is specifically made for paper. It works fantastic with tissue paper and, you know, anything that you have. And it dries very quickly. It is, uh, I am obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these products because 
you know, I love the fabric one because I do a lot of fabric art, which is very hard to get on camera. I'm going to try again because you guys keep asking, but um, sometimes it's hard. Mostly because I pin myself into a corner here with all the my stuff that I use um, instead of putting it away. Because <laughs> I just, I don't know. But yeah, so the fabric like I've talked about a million times before, it is fantastic. The Mod Podge fabric. And also the, um, oh geez, there's sparkle and pearl and extreme glitter. Just beautiful, beautiful different kinds. You know, I love the hard coats. There's the gloss. What else is there? Ultra matte chalk. I mean, so much, so much. And it all is good. Um, I'm thinking that'll be, I think I'm going to put something right there and then that'll be it. Like that. Okay. Go back and check your edges real quick while you have your brush out because there's nothing and it's no guarantee for me. Uh, I've had to go back many times, but it stinks sometimes when you dry it and then, you know, you see little pieces sticking up. Also, let me show you something real quick. Maybe I'll do it here. I'm going to take just a little bit of this. Let's see if we can do it with the paper. Put that down. Put this down. I'm going to kind of wet just this piece. A little bit with the water. All right, I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna give that a second. I'm gonna put the lid on because I'm forever spilling everything. I knock everything over. I'm gonna hit this right here for a second with my heat gun. If I could peel this up. I'm gonna take some water. This is just something I'm doing. I need to scrape it up. Let's see. Might have to dry it all the way. Probably. I wanted to like peel it up. There we go. See how you could peel it up in the words? I'll bring it closer for you to see, but you go like this, and what happens is it gives you a different direction of the <clears throat> text on the bottom. So you get the backwards, you know, the, the underneath. So the words are kind of, you know what I'm saying? Probably shouldn't, I, I probably should do that with a picture. Maybe I'll do that with a picture in a quick video when we're done. Cause it's hard to show you on there, but I love doing it. I wanted to see if it worked with the paper as well. But that'll be for another video. Okay, this is almost all dry. That quick. This stuff dries so good. I don't know if there's, because maybe there's more, I don't want to say water because I don't know what's in it, but the Mod Podge mat, maybe it has more glue. I don't know. So these are, they're called Derwent Ink Tense Blocks. And I have two different packs. Because the one, I have a 24 pack and then I have a 12 pack. The 12 pack I think is downstairs. But this is, they these come in different pick colors. So I picked a 12 pack and then picked extra colors if that makes sense. Anyway, you can see what they're like. They are sticks of... Oh my goodness, autofocus. Why? Um, they're just sticks of color. 
And they work the same way as the Derwent Intense Pencils to where they dry, they're permanent. So what I like to do is use them. I will use a paintbrush. You can draw with them and I will show you. We're going to do a kind of a background. And like I said, they're beautiful colors. And let's see here. I'm going to put this up here a bit. Yeah, just so we can kind of see. Now I'm going to take a paint brush. What paintbrush, Kel? Uh, let's try. We'll try this one. And I'm going to wet it. And I'm just going to go around the outside of this. And I think I'm going to pick. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of digging the cranberry-ish color. So. Now they do sell things that you can hold these. They're like pencil, you know, like the pencil grips. They do have them and I do too, but I think they're downstairs with the other pack. Let's see what color this comes up. And I just have my wet brush and I'm just kind of, this is how I'm going to do it first. A little more water. Turn your brush both ways. And then look at this luscious color. I mean, come on. I can go in, I can thin it out some, pull it in. I want to pull it all over the page though. Mm -hmm. So I want this to kind of be the background shade, but that color and it's going to soak into the papers that I put on here, different color, you know, different ways. Like you can see it's this page, you know what I mean? It's sunk in because it's not as thick as others. And just look how pretty that comes out. All right, now watch. I'm going to use it and just to start, I'm going to wet my brush again and go in. And look at that equally. And you don't have that problem uh, like we did the other day with the, um, what did we use? The uh, oil pastels where it sinks in. Do you know what I mean? Um, the scribble part, but you can see it works. It works beautifully. And I will just take some more off here. You can get it intense. You can get it less intense. And what happens is when it dries, it becomes permanent. So you can use these as a watercolor uh, application, you know, as well as the Inktense pencils. And those are just like watercolor pencils. That's how, you know, these are sticks, but those are like watercolor pencils. So you can see how simple that is. I'm going to dry it real quick. Because I'm going to layer, I want these to dry because I want them not to lift. And it could be a little damp in another area. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, let's see. Let's do, I don't know what color this is. Does it say? No. It says England. And it has a number. So that doesn't help me any. Let's see. We're going to just dip in here. Ooh, that's black. That's all right. Let's kind of just go around the corners, maybe. To add some grunge. I like the grunge. And over here, a little more water. Okay. 
Now remember, when it dries, you're going to have permanent paint, we'll say. But you see how it's not, you can make it not opaque. Let's just give it a little bit of, you know, a little bit of darkness on those edges. Okay. What about this purple color? Let's kind of throw it down just in parts. Look at how oh, beautiful. Now, if what I would do, if I want this to continue kind of, oh, the drips, the drips, the drips, the drips. Those will take forever to dry right now. That'll be, I'll do at the end. But to leave this a little wetter, because I want, I don't want it so um, dry. I'm going to lift it with some paper towel, but I still want that left. Or take another piece of paper, whatever you have. What do I have? I have nothing sitting here, so I will use just some of this just to kind of already color it. And you see... It is, oh, I love it, I love it. Now you can get these on Amazon. You can get these on, um, where did I get these? Cheap Joe's or one of those. I'm sure they all have them. I did, uh, I did not get these from Blitzy. <laughs> I don't even know if they have them. But if you're interested to look at Blitzy, which is a great, uh, arts and craft place that does everything from uh, mixed media, acrylic, watercolor, stencils, die cuts, sewing, clay, uh, paintbrushes, just everything you could possibly want. Um, it's a great store and you can check my links down below in the description. It's my favorite place. But I don't know if they have these. <laughs> so. For all you guys shaming me for using my link, I'm going to give myself a shout out for the link again, because I think it's wonderful. And if I love, you know, saving money and I'm sure you guys do too. And those who've already used it have told me how much they've loved it. So there's that. And like everything else, you have to shop. You have to see what, you know, their prices are up to 70% off and you can use a coupon there too. And if you spend so much, you get free shipping. You can use your PayPal. So there's a lot of good things. I like it because I use my PayPal and then I can keep my um, track of like what I spend on my business, so to say, you know, for because they have canvases and all kinds of stuff. So I love that kind of stuff. What colors do, what else color? I think I want some green, which is kind of weird, but I don't know. This green's like talking to me and it's a little too bright, I think, but let's play. Let's just go in. Mm, not so much. <laughs> not so much. So I'm just going to go in and swap that up. Okay. Not going to do that. But I want to show you, let's see, let's do, let's do a stencil and I'll just do it like this for now. And let's pick a color. Let me find a stencil brush. Let's do this little bad boy here. And, or no, let's do this one. Let's try this one because it's a little bigger. And all I'm going to do is throw it on the thing because my hands, all I'm going to do is wet it. You want to give it a good wet, but then you want it, yeah, you don't want it too wet. And I think I'm going to go in with, uh, mm, I think I'm going to go in with some dark blue. And I'm going to just rub it on there. And I'm going to dab it. Now you can always dab off a little bit. Look at that color. I don't know if you could see that color because my light. I don't think you can, but you'll be able to see it on here. But I mean, I'm getting a lot of color. Let's see. Can you see that color? That's just from, you know, dabbing it on there. 
and I'm just going to kind of dab it. You don't want it too wet, so you always want to dab off a bit. Shout out to Angie. I'm kind of just adding some texture with a stencil. And you see, you can definitely stencil, not a big deal. Let's pick a different color just to play. Maybe I'll even try a different stencil, shall we? Let's see this one. And what color are you? No, I think it might be a metallic -y one. Let's see. Make sure you do the same thing, wet your brush, dab, and then scrub it. Get some of that color. Okay, dab it off. I love all the texture that you get from stencils. Go back in, dab some more. Yeah, you can, you see how little, I'll lift it up in a minute because I know some of you say that it's, my camera's far away. I don't, I don't know why it is. Not, not, not why, why you say that. I'm just saying why my camera's so far away because I'm zoomed in a little bit, but maybe I need to be zoomed in more. Okay. You can see, and then I can just lay this down if I want. And give it a scrub. Unless you don't want no scrub, scrub it. Okay. Just singing some old 80s, 90s, whatever. And I just turn it over to take off any extra that I might have. Now I'm going to dry this. And then to make this even more mixed media, which we have our, you know, we have our art journal page, we have our book pages, and we have our um, intense blocks. So now I'm gonna add some white paint. Now, I'm not gonna go white, white because, and you've pro I've probably done this a million times, but I'm gonna do off white. And this is antique white, uh, beige would work, any color, even a light brown, but I'm gonna, just do that little, little bit. I'm gonna take my brush again. And this is the bigger brush, but use whatever you have, even a foam brush. Those, let me tell you, starting out, go to the local dollar store. You can get like those foam brushes. Even your uh, craft store has them for five for a buck and you just can't beat it. And what I'm gonna do, zoom, 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 zoom. I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit. Now you can see some of that blue, not dry. I don't care. I'm just gonna, we're doing grunge, come on. Don't get hung up on stuff. This scares people when I do this, but I love doing it. Okay, then what I like to do is take my spray bottle. I wanna make it more wet, wetter. And then I like to take a piece of paper, which obviously, I was not prepared. So I'm going to use, here we go. Got a piece right here. And I'm going to lay it down, give it some pressure. And what I like to do, I do this and then I'm using these, I'm making these journals. Maybe I'll show you the one journal I made to put up for sale. I'm just I'm going to add some inserts to it. Or maybe I'll show it in my next video since I've got all this stuff here. I don't want to get it all yucky. And then look at this great, look at that. And how those colors mixed and everything. And I got a page started for in the art journal that's already kind of done. Which is delicious, delicious. But then I like to take, like I said, my a paper towel or your art rag, whatever you have. Anything you can get. And go in, dab up more of that water. But you see how it muted everything? 
And that's because I want to work on top of it and go even grungier, but I don't want, you see how it pushed all those colors to the background? Now I want to work and bring some different colors to the forefront. Darker colors, some darker colors. So I'm going to go in with my paintbrush, my other one. Oh, you know what would be fun? Wait, 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 wait. Let me see if I can find it. One second. Oh, yeah. Makeup sponge. Let's do a dab. Let's dab with some darker colors. Um, I'm going to wet my, bra my sponge. going to give it a little boosh off. What color are you? That's like a green. Let's dab it. Of course, you can scrub it. You just want some of that lifted up, but yeah. Let's dab it. I need a little more, a little more water. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's like a army green. And I'm just gonna pull some of that through. Now, again, like I said, you could take this and you can scribble, draw, whatever you want. And you can see it's a little wet underneath still, a little bit of the water, which is not going to hurt anything. It's just going to make this move around. And then I can go in and kind of move it where I want it just to add a little gross coloring. The weather feels like it's a little cooler here in Jersey. Thank goodness, a little bit more water. Finally, a little cooler where I can turn the air off. I hope it doesn't. It's supposed to go back up in the 80s next week or something. I hope not. That can always change. All right, see how we we've got that going? I don't know if I push real hard here, that green, see how it just kind of spits out? Mm. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Now it even comes with white. Um, let's say I want a little highlight here. So I will put a little of that white there just to show you. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna wet my finger a little bit and kind of, and you can see it, it gets a little white. I don't like using it when I'm using these darker colors because but if you're doing a face and you want to do like highlights or an eyes or highlight anything really. Now what I want to do is I want to take my big brush and I want to dry it off a little bit and I want to drag. I don't know what color I want to drag though. I think I'm going to, hmm, maybe, 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 maybe go in with this purple again, but because grunge doesn't always have to be black and dark. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to, I don't know if this is blue or purple, but you can see all that on there. And I'm going to dab it off here just a little bit because I really just don't want all that on there right now. I'm going to hold my brush way back here and I'm just going to lightly drag it in different places. Lift it up, kind of drag it this way. See if I can catch some of those edges of the papers. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Because I know it's like, what? What are you doing? I know. It's all right. You'll see. Okay. And then I'm going to spray. And we're doing the same thing. I'm going to put my paper on it again. Just give it that. But this time, I mean, look. Look at that. Woo, yeah. And look at that. Woo, love it. I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to go in 
and just dab where the darker pieces, you know, the parts are. But try to, I'm trying to stay away from these edges because I want those to be a little bit more pronounced. And then you can go back in with your sponge and kind of dab any areas that you might want to push some more of that back. You can squirt again. You can, you know, I mean, you could do whatever you want. Oh, I love, I love these bandages. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let me just show you. And these won't go to waste. I'll show you. We'll just throw them on another page, but look. Look how pretty. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And these don't get, you know, you don't have to let them go to waste. You can take them. I have pages everywhere that I just kind of throw color down on of leftover paints and whatnot because it just becomes a background, you know, for something else. I don't like to waste. Sometimes it, I do waste though, I'm not going to lie, but I don't mean to. All right, so I'm going to take and just dab a little bit more. And what shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? I will dry. What if because there are no rules. There are no rules. We turn our book this way and work. What do you say? Because there's no rules. Who says? Who says we have to do it the other way? Nobody. Nobody says it. Nobody says it. All right. All right. I think I know what I'm going to do with those. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to draw one of my, this is the Faber-Castell Black Velvet 2.5. I have no idea what that means, but I like the pencil. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm going to go, and this is basically dry. It's a little damp down here. I'm not worrying about that. I'm going to go in. I love putting, and you're not going to be able to see this yet until I, paint this in. And I'm going to, for all those wonderful people who email me and say, I hate when you paint on backgrounds and don't lay a base gesso down. I'm going to gesso for you today. Yes, I am. All right. So right here, I have what I want my face to be and the neck. So that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to take my gesso. It is my folk art gesso surface prep. Use whatever you have and listen. Use your white acrylic paint if you don't have gesso, okay? It, it's not going to hurt anything. Trust me. Not going to hurt anything. All right, so I'm going in. And I'm going to gesso. And I'm doing this for those who do not know what gesso or even what your uh, white paint would do is we're laying a, a base down. So when I put the skin color down, it's going to be opaque and not... Uh, you're not going to see the underneath. I don't mind the underneath, but some people do. And I try to make everybody somewhat happy. <laughs> I've learned that I can't make everybody happy. Um, but yeah, so I try to, you know, I try to do my best with what I got. And you can see now this blocks out that underneath Right, so I can put a face color on top and it won't, um, 
it, it won't be transparent where you can't uh you can see the underneath purple and blend because some I did one that was a pink base and people said it looked like she was very ill, which I felt ill on that day. So maybe that was what I was projecting, but you never know. But by all means, if you don't want to put gesso down or white paint or whatever, then do it whatever way you want. I'm just going to kind of sketch out some shoulders. arms this can be her waist you see how careful I'm doing it right and you can use your pencil or whatever I'll do a skirt and let's go in one more time come on now I know I'm almost done with that just so and then I'll just bring arm down here I've been doing bigger girls lately um I mean I am a bigger girl okay and then okay and then this will be her skin I'm just sketching it with this paintbrush, not even too uh, worrying about it. Okay. This way, when I lay the flesh color on there, it's a little more transparent. But what I'm going to do is leave these alone down there. Okay. So that's basically where I sketched her out. And I'm going to give it a quick dry because I'm going to throw the face paint down, the skin color. Just so it dries very quickly. It dries like a white paint or any kind of acrylic paint, really. I'm not going to worry about too much. I'm going to take a flesh color. This is light flesh. And now I'm going to go over the skin colors. Make sure your brush is dry and clean. Go in and go for it. So you can see how much better it shows up on the page. You have a smoother, you know, more opaque uh, canvas, so to say, or area to work on. So I'm just going over the areas that I'm going to put the flesh the skin and I'll carve all that out after so we do, we're just basically doing a mixed media background on an art journal page do you know what I mean And all we did was use book text. You don't have to have, like I said, scrap of paper or all that. Okay. So you can see that's all I'm going to do on there. She's, you know, I'm going to have to fix the boob area, I think, but it's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I want to do her dress a certain color. And I think I'm going to do, let's play, let's do orange, oh, orange clout. And I'm going to scribble it in. Uh, I'm gonna make it all, all for now, and then we'll put little things on it or something. Let's see what this orange does. Let's see how opaque I can get this. Use you know use whatever you have if you don't have these. Use your um, watercolor pencils or your markers, your Sharpies, your Bix, your watercolor, Crayola, whatever you have to do whatever. You don't, you know what I mean? Okay. Now I'm going to take this brush. I don't want it too wet, but I don't want it too dry. I'm going to go in and see. Okay. 
Yeah. Can you see how? But you see the difference. This is what people don't like. When I do the face color, you can see that underneath. And people, some people, not everybody, some people don't like that. So I thought today I would at least do the face. Okay. And that covered pretty, pretty, pretty good. I gotta work on these boobs up here though. <laughs> Although they look like my boobs hanging. <laughs> hanging down to my knees. Let's get this. I'm just gonna wipe it. And I'll go back in with the flesh color and kind of carve it out a little bit. Now as this orange dries, I'm going to put more. But that really came out nice and orange. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let that dry a little bit before I play on there anymore. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to ever do a face. You can just leave her blank as, you know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think, I think, let me try this. I'm going to cut out. Let's see if I can do this. Maybe, maybe not. I'll show it on camera and enough I screw it up. It is what it is. I want to kind of do... I should have probably drawn it. Let's see. I wanted to do wings. Okay. So I'm going to cut these in half. And I just kind of want to I don't want them in behind. I probably should have put them down before, but hey, what are you gonna do? Let me find my glue. My glue stick, my glue stick. Okay, where are we gonna put these bad boys? I'm okay with that. I'll deal with it. I shall deal with it. I want it kinda, yeah. And I didn't put it, any glue up here yet. Because I don't know if I'm going to. But for now, I'm going to put it here. And this is just your disappearing glue stick. I love, uh, what do I love? I love Elmer's. But the uh, glue sticks are archival. The glue itself, uh, white school glue is not. Just so you know. Okay. Yeah, just gonna do little wings there. Not perfect wings, but they were quick wings. And I'm gonna take some of the color. I'm gonna use it just as a little shading. Okay. And I want to thank everybody who, who have donated, who have donated to my Patreon, who have donated to my PayPal, who have bought from me to help support me. I am so beyond blessed. Thank you so much. And if you would like to do any of those, the information's down below. You don't have to, though. I just appreciate it. 
you know, appreciate the people who have. I appreciate all of you, whether you watch my videos or whatever you do. I'm going to do a little, little boobs there. And I think I'm going to do, I'm like really wanting to see what this teal does. So I want some more green than teal, but maybe she has fungusy. There's a fungus among us. So if you've been with me this long, in this video, what can I do a giveaway on? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do a giveaway on. I'm gonna do a giveaway on the Mod Podge paper. I'm gonna do, let's see, I think I have everything mailed out to everybody, but the Mod Podge paper, I'm gonna do a giveaway. So if you are interested and wanna win a Mod Podge paper, because this stuff is fantastic, put down in the comments, there's a fungus among us. And in a couple days, I will pick a winner. I'm not going to tell you how many days. So I will, however, start once I do pick the winner, I'm going to start putting like on the video, like winner picked because I know a lot of people watch it like after and then write and then, you know, I just want them to know. But and listen, like I said, I'm doing a lot of these. I got a lot of things coming up. So, you know, just saying. All right, I'm going to take this color, which is black, and I want to, I like to pretend like this is a little pocket here. <laughs> I'm just going to use my fingers and kind of rub. But yeah, that's what you do. And then I'll pick a winner. And if you've already won, it's okay, because these are small gifts, small uh, prizes. And I, I just love doing it because um, you guys are so supportive. And I wish I could give to everybody. So I like doing the smaller ones. You know? So that way I can do more wins. But I do have some good stuff, so. I'm just kind of doing that. And for her face, I'm gonna go in. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna paint these the green in. I wasn't going to, but I think I might. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Look at that color. And like when you pull it in, you get that nice watercolor effect. Ho, ho, ho. Also, please share. Share my video. I appreciate it. Any video. Go pick your favorite video if you don't want to share this one. Like I said, these, I'm just showing what these can do, these pencils. I mean, these uh, ink tense blocks. And I like doing a little page with them or whatever, you know, just to play around. But, um, you know, share. Maybe you have a video of mine that you like. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't like any of them. I'm just going in with some hair. I didn't want to put too much black because I didn't want it to come up stark black. Is that a word? Stark black. I feel like I'm watching Game of Thrones. But I'll add a little bit more. But you see, I mean, not just that little bit going around, but I will add some more because I want her to have big hair like me. I want to cut all my hair off. Anybody make a big hair change lately? Anybody cut? I saw April Payton did. I don't know if you're familiar with her. Um, she has a YouTube channel. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady. And uh, I saw she cut all her hair off. And I was so jealous. I'm like, because I've been thinking about it. But, and Emily keeps trying to encourage me to because she hates my hair. So, I was like, oh. I mean, I got, I, my face will look even more like a basketball. But, it just, I'm. I don't know. Did when you guys do you guys with fibro and RA and all that, do you does your hair hurt? My hair hurts sometimes and it makes me sick. It makes me sicker. It's just so bothersome. Look how quick that hair came together. So simple. You know, and like I said, there's these are just so fun to play with. I gotta see if I can get some of these, do a little giveaway or something. Maybe when I get to like twenty-five thousand. 
I'll do a bigger, like a bigger giveaway. So share, share. You never know who will win. All right, now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna just put a little, you know, you could put a necklace here, whatever. Um, you know, I'm gonna put my arm in. I've given this enough time. So I'm just going in with an eye here and an eye here. I think I'm gonna keep them closed. Don't know yet. I'm gonna do like a little, she has my big Italian nose, but a nose. That is a big nose cow. That's, that is my big Italian nose, which I do have. And don't yell at me because I am Italian and I can say it. It's my nose. I'll just do like that. And then like this. Give her a cute little smile. Little lips. Just that she's thinking. Good thoughts. Because let's do good thoughts today. Because I could use them. And I'm sending you guys good thoughts today. Because maybe you need them. Or maybe you don't need them. Maybe it's just. Maybe I'm just going to send you good thoughts. You can see her look, her looks a little concerned, but she's really trying hard to meditate. You see, that's how I am today. It's like, she's trying hard. I'm trying, I got my eyes closed, I'm meditating, but I'm trying to breathe. But uh, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> that's where I'm leaving it. Yeah, betcha. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these and if you would be maybe interested in, you know, a little giveaway at some point, maybe like I said, when I hit the 25 and, um, cause I'm, you know, not too, too far, a couple thousand, but that's all right. I, uh, can't even believe I've grown this much and yeah, all my information's down below. Please follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on Facebook, on Google, everything's down below. Um, and if you're not already and you would like to be, please subscribe, hit that bell next to it. So you get notified when I upload and uh, yeah. So please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. This is progress, not perfection. Like I said, I wanted to show you guys what these um, performed like and what they are. And they are wonderful. They're delicious and I love them. And you can use them on any, you know, any kind of uh, paper or what have you. You can use them on here as watercolor. You can see how they come out. They're delicious. So yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, I love you guys so very much. And I am so very blessed that you took the time to watch my video. Bye, guys.